I'm Kent, and this is another Week in Adventure Rides how-to. Today I'm going to show you how to install auxiliary lights onto your adventure bike or motorcycle. Don't go anywhere. Okay, to get started I'll kind of go through the products that I purchased. Now I got all three of these products on Amazon and the total cost was around $50. The first thing I got were these LED lights. Now they're a, a two inch square essentially or two inch cube and they have nine LEDs. They're an aluminum housing with this poly front face. So far, uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the build quality on these. The aluminum fins aren't as fine as I would expect uh, most of the higher end ones to be, but for the th around $30 that I pay for just these lights, the two of them, I'm really quite impressed with the quality of these. So the lights come with uh, mounting hardware and they come with this kind of chrome finish. And I'm again, pretty impressed with the quality here. I'm thinking that with this chrome finish, they're gonna last a little bit longer in the uh, elements, the water and light, we'll get those mounted up with those lights and we'll see how those work. Okay, so second piece is uh, basically an L bracket. And I got these because they're a universal fit and you can attach them to basically any bar. They come with this basic size that's one and a quarter, but you can put inserts in from everything to three quarter up to one and a quarter. And I think the bars that I'm using are one inch, so we'll use the one inch adapters in order to attach them to the, to the bars that I have on the bike. All right, the last piece would be the wiring harness. Now, this is a cheaper wiring harness. It comes with a switch that attaches to the bars, and these are for a, a seven eighths bar. Pretty basic. Uh, relay, inline fuse, and then the two connectors that will go to the lights themselves and the battery connections. What I noticed right off is this wiring harness, it's a little, it might be a little bit short. So I bought some extra wire that we may have to do a little bit of splicing and we've done that on previous videos. So I've got the, the pieces to do that. So I'll go through that again. But I think the first thing we're gonna do is get the hardware for the mounting brackets all set up. We'll get the lights mounted to the bike and then we'll do all the wiring after that. Now this is pretty basic. So we'll do the uh, carriage bolts first just so they're not in the way. And those come with a lock washer and a nut. So we'll put those together. And then you get a bolt, the washer, and a lock washer, and the nut. So put those together. So that's the bracket for the lights. And then we'll put those, we'll take this bolt off of the carriage bolt, or this nut off the carriage bolt. mount this to the L brackets themselves. And with this, you're not gonna wanna do anything tight to begin with, just kind of uh, feet, finger tighten everything so it's not gonna fall apart, but there's some adjustability in it still. So for that, we've got the L bracket attached to the light now. So we'll do that for the other side. Okay, so now we've got both of the mounting brackets, you know, loosely fit on there. And we'll set those to the side. Now I'm gonna bring the motorcycle over and we're gonna mount those up. And we'll then we'll get started on the wiring harness. Okay, so I've got the bike over and as I'm mounting these, I'm thinking about a couple of things like where exactly I want them to be on these bars and then where they are in relation to these lights. So. For my thinking, I really want to put them directly under my turn signals, kind of on these bars right here. So I've got my mounts and my one inch adapters. And I think I'm going to do something kind of like this here You can see that. So we'll get 
the one inch adapters, our back plates, and we'll see kind of how this goes together here. So in order to get these on here, I kind of had to uh, use a combination of the one and a quarter and the one inch adapters so that this would fit and the screws were actually long enough. I'd be a little concerned if we were using a, uh, a true like one and a quarter bar. I don't think the screws would actually be long enough, but I, I got it so that it's going to work for now. And we've got that all mounted up there. So we'll flip over to the other side and then I'll get that one installed and we'll see how that's looking. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna work on the wiring harness. Okay, to get started on the wiring install, I'm going to remove this upper piece here, this panel, this middle piece here, and then also we're gonna take the seat off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we've got everything apart here. So this is gonna be the lower half. These two wires are gonna to have to come up to the front kind of through here. What we're gonna do is leave these disconnected from the battery for now. I'm gonna find a place to mount this automotive relay here. All right, now I just have to figure out how we're gonna get this through there and uh, we'll be pretty much home free. I'm going to disconnect the switch because that's not going to be able to fit through there pretty easily. We'll put that back on after. Okay, so instead of removing all the plastics, I decided to go against that and instead take a piece of wire here and run it through underneath. And now I'm going to attach one end of that piece of wire to the electricals here and we'll pull it through. So let's get all this kind of together. We may have to do a couple runs to get everything out. Okay, so I've got all my wires ran. This first side. So the short side connector to directly to the, the light itself is here. So that will be for the right side bulb. And I'm just gonna take this, run it down here. And there's another wire that's for the turn signal. That's right there, so I'm gonna Put that as close as I can to this light. And then we'll put a zip tie on that. Okay, so that's our first one. Now we'll run our lead to the opposite side for the left LED light. Okay, so now we've got this light ready to hook up. And the connections for that right here. So we're just gonna put some uh, blade connectors on this and then just make sure you're hooking up your red and your black to the correct wires. Red to red, black to black. And I already put one of them on just to check to see if the blade would work for these lights and it does so. Now I just have to put that black wire in there and then give it a crimp. Okay. And we're all set there. Now I need another blade connector here. We'll slide that onto the red one. Like so, crimp that down. All right, and we are all connected on the right side. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the left. Okay, so we have the switch now, and I think, after doing a little looking, I'm probably going to put this right here next to the clamp. I've already got too much going on on these bars, really. 
but I want it to be accessible and not block anything else. So let's go ahead and see how we can run this wire. I guess we'll do that attachment there first. This just uses a Phillips screwdriver. That looks pretty good. We'll attach this again. And then I'm gonna have to kind of clean up this rat's nest that I've created over here. These wires are actually a bit long. I may pull this one back through underneath so I don't have so many wires up front. Okay, now we've got our lead to our battery and then our lead, other lead to the battery, so our negative and positive. So we'll just pull off these lead screws here. Okay, before I fix all of the wiring here and get everything organized, let's see if these lights actually work. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. I'm gonna test the lights. And it looks like we're working. And those things are bright. Okay. Now I'll go through, clean up my wiring and reroute everything so it looks nice. Cut off all of the ends on my zip ties and then we'll see you back at the end here. Okay, all the wiring's done, we tested the lights, everything's working. Now what we're gonna do is adjust these lights so that they're kind of in line with the headlight right now. And then what we'll do is a final set of those uh, tonight when it gets dark, we'll go outside, shine a light on the garage, and then set these. Okay, so I've got the bike outside and we're gonna even up the headlights now. So I've got the low beams on and I'm gonna hit the switch on the fog lights. And we can see that what we're looking for, the line across the top of the high beams, we don't want these floodlights or fog lights to be above that. If you look, you can kind of see they're right in the middle and they're straight forward. What we're gonna do is kind of separate those out so they shoot out more to the sides. Okay, now if you look, we'll turn those off real quick. You can get a before and after. So before and now with the fog lights, still throwing a little light up high, but it looks pretty good. It's down, most of the light is down below the level of the low beams. So that looks pretty good to me. I think we're gonna leave it right there and then uh, we'll take it for a ride and see how it looks. All right, well, that's everything for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and just watch another video. All right, we'll check you next time on Weekend Adventure Rides How To.